of the suit. So I don't want the other folks to start complaining. I just collected it back and I sent back to Dubai. So what I'm just trying to say is, I want my brand to be known for authentic things. Do you understand? I don't want any stain. Once I perceive that something might want to cause any kind of stain, I don't want it at all. So I think that's awesome. Awesome. That will spread out your message. Yeah. Like for example, when you get to that point where you go through all this stress, you can just ask a question. Having gone through all this stress, what would an average entrepreneur have done? Well, he could have said for the inferior, regardless of what the customer would feel. But we at what the company is doing? Rima. 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 Rima, Karima, Rima, So the average entrepreneur would have settled with what was easy, what was productive, and what would not give them stress. But we at Rima Closet we believe in quality, we believe in authenticity, and that is why we go any length to ensure you get quality. And do you know that I don't even need to explain anything else without any. Mm-hmm. Because the story has already told them that she has already shown them the stress you go through. You guys it now. Okay, fine. Let's leave it there. Let, let's just take this on one one minute. I think when I want it, one minute, uh, I will stop now. So it's already fast, right? Yeah. Uh, we are shooting out of our camera. Okay, okay. So one minute, please. <laughs> That. It's, it's, it's really Your time yeah, so um, a few years back when I was in the secondary school, mm-hmm. even proud to that time, I never liked wearing it tips because I didn't like how it made me look. Sometimes it made me look funny. I don't like it when it's funny. So I, I grew up in a house where we were like five boys. I had other brothers. And along the line, growing up, we had to wear some of the clothes and they were big, which resulted in making me look funny. Mm-hmm. So, towards my end, towards the end of my stay in secondary school, towards the end of my senior secondary school era, uh, we do this end of the year graduation. And we were asked to pick an outfit for life to wear. So for the first time I thought, okay, maybe I should try this native thing since I don't really want to get. So, I went to Taylor. And I picked up a design. <laughs> and <laughs> it did magic. <laughs> so and the funny thing was I told him that look um, regardless of this of it, but he did a bad job. He did a good job. Okay. And he actually beat my imagination. Because I never believed in my wildest imagination. It means it and the bad job. So I told him, you know what, I'm coming back for this. And I'm coming to learn how you did this. I'm going to be better. So I did my graduation and I told my parents that I would like to get in, um, get involved. And then you have to make clothes. So that's how I got into it. I, I learned the process. I built over time. And I rewrote the narrative that someone can look for on meeting. Mm-hmm. So over time, I've come to meet the people who tell me that Chris. I don't think I can ever look up on a meeting. I tell them that you have in your shoes. Meeting is a dope. And I can change the way you think with just an outfit. So I work with people like that and they come back and they'll be like, wow, I never believe I can look this good on a meeting. I said that I was once in your shoes. And if you change for me, I can change for you. So that's my story. So I will do she will feel like that. I have great people here. Amazing. Jalabia and everything. Amazing. Amazing. It's like I have to go to Lagos for one meeting. Yeah. We still have one more speaker. She can say up here. One more speaker. One more speaker. Okay, let's hear you. I would have touched the, the I would have touched the but maybe tomorrow or during our yeah. presentation, analysis and the rest. So remind me in case I forget. So just touch this here. I wish they could do job wrong. And actually, as a, as a girl, this can mess with your um, sorry, 
self-esteem. You don't want to, you know, talk to people in class because ladies don't want to repeat the same clothes they keep wearing every every day and all that. So that messed with my communication skills. I don't talk in class and all that. So it got me thinking one day. I was like, okay, I couldn't afford all this. Is there a way I can come out, come up with something that would, you know? make clothing very affordable for ladies my age because I don't want young women out there to you know, go through what I went through because he actually messes with my self-confidence and esteem. So I got thinking, then the idea got to me like I could make use of um, fabric waste, like upcycled off -cycle, off fabrics, like you know, what is fabric waste, to actually uh, reduce the um, amount or just clothing, when you recycle um, fabric waste, you can use it for lining and other things that will subsidize the normal amount that you're supposed to spend on production. So it got me thinking, and that's how um, my brand Blossoms by your cable. So in a in a brand, we make use of um, recycled fabrics to actually produce um, affordable and quality clothing. For an average Nigerian woman, um, thereby making her feel confident. Okay, 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 okay. That was what we actually yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Know, ah, because I don't have enough clothes. Yeah. So they, how would they now feel when they can now afford more okay, clothes? Okay, okay, okay. So um, with our clothing, they are affordable and quality, and with that you can you know get. As much, as much as you want, and um, we produce any that you want, corporate and casuals, that makes you feel confident. When you walk into a room, you you feel confident in your skill brand. Makes you look confident, <laughs> beautiful, mm -hmm. and stand out. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Man, just make for cause of man. Since like this is awesome, I wish you could just so let me just do it in branding class and let's see. Don't fine tune your story when you get there. Do it now. Sure. Because the spotlight doesn't announce itself. It can come at any. Don't let it catch you wanting. Fine tune it. Keep refining it, and that leads to my assignment. Right. In not tomorrow. In not less than three hundred. This same story just to. I will tell you why I asked you to write. It's actually powerful. In not less than three hundred words. Tell your story. Tell your brand story. Tell your brand story. So it could be more than three hundred, but it shouldn't be less. In not less than. So should we ask them to send it to the mail? Let's make it. it let's do this. So you you write it with your pen mm. and paper. Then you submit the um A4 paper. Whatever thing you write it, you write it. Must be unwritten. Unwritten. Let's do unwritten. Submitted. Wait. Tomorrow. 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 Our class begins mm -hmm. by one. Yeah. Right. So you have much time right. after church. So thank you very much for your time. <laughs> yeah. Let's celebrate, Mr. Olai Mola. Ola, thank you. Wow. Public speaking. Wow. I believe that was a wonderful session, right? Yeah. Yeah. Simple, but awesome. Awesome. Let me celebrate him once again. So that's that's how far we go, making sure that we get simply the best for this particular um, workshop. It's not just anything in the media world. The three of them are just in there. That's what you are into. This is Adura Boy. Adura Boy is a musical artist. Oh. Yeah, in pop yeah. artist. Like, he does a, uh, an album with Martin's Fuse. Oh. Yeah, he has one with him. So he's doing amazing work. Well. Just go to Instagram. For him, you can go for just like Adura Boy, you see it there. For Michael, just go for Black VNG, right? On Instagram. Then for Top Star, just for at Top Star Designs. You see everything there, it's, it's a loaded stuff. They are doing amazingly well. Alright? So and I'm glad that we're all part of everybody's story. Okay? So today we want to do something. And um, I know time has gone. But please just spare me two minutes. I want you to just talk to the camera. Two minutes. How today's session was for you. Two minutes. Max, we're done with the class. You can go. So thank you so much for today. Two minutes. Two minutes, please. Two minutes.
Two minutes. All right. Can we do that? Two minutes. Two minutes. So you can just come here, please, okay. Mr. Allah. I know. I know. I will see you now. So please, Mr. Allah, you help me just guide them. They are talking to the camera, just them alone. So today, uh, my name is um, Alaiwola Odua Yo. You know, I, it, it, it's amazing being in today's class and session. We learn so and so from so and so, like you get that from Mr. Ahmed Joseph, like that. So the kid, Mr. Ahmed Joseph. His name is Amen Christopher. This is Mr. Joseph Adachi. So, <laughs> so that, that's, we just put them together like that. And what was your biggest, your aha moment? The way we shall say it. Just say that and that's all. Two minutes, please. Just all right, let me, guide up, like, let me see one of our. Yeah, ready, guys. All right, so I'll see tomorrow. Okay, let's. let's... So, do we have do we have a flyer for this event? Yes. On the system.